When I was 14, I thought I knew it all. I quit school, I got into drugs. By 16, I was arrested and sent to a halfway house. One of my friends got deeper into drugs and eventually ended his own life. It could have been me. But I found a passion in cooking that helped me to start a business, worked hard at it, and made money. I'm Enoch Teo, FME Entrepreneur. I'm here today to give three aspiring entrepreneurs a mentorship to give them advice, impart knowledge and skills. Oh my god, I'm scared. I never had a mentor when I was starting out. And by mentoring these three guys, I hope that they can get to where they want to get to with much less pain than I've been through. Hi, Hi. I'm Cheryl. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you for coming this morning. In entrepreneurship, the most difficult thing is always the mental challenges. So I've set up a series of challenges for you all to help you overcome the hurdles that you may face in your own business. But first of all, safety check, I will want you all to swim across the pool. I'm Cheryl, I'm 19, I run a dance studio. I would really love for my dance studio, of course, to grow. I'm Jay, I'm 27 years old, and I'm the owner of a music studio, The Music Parlor, and I'm planning to venture into F&B. I'm Afik, I'm 25 this year, and I'm a coding instructor for children. So safety check done, but we're not here just to swim today. So we'll be jumping off this 10 meter high platform. Entrepreneurship, especially during the beginning, is never easy. You will have to do things and take risks that you've never taken before. So with risk comes fear, but if you're unable to overcome your fear, that will be what blocks you from your dreams and success. I never dived that high in my life before, so fingers crossed. Oh my god! What the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, so for starting a business, one very important thing is to gather information. Today, Malcolm will be giving us the techniques to execute this job. So the posture is, one hand cover the nose, and then the other hand will cover the elbow. Then, then feet first. So I'll be jumping first. Woo! How I deal with the fear is, I think of the sense of achievement and the kind of satisfaction that I'll gain after completing the task. Okay, so stand near the edge. <clears throat> Get. Ah! Two seconds only. Your fear comes from focusing on the worst possible things that can happen. So just be positive. Woo! I feel reassured. He gave me the extra boost that I needed to step over the edge. Okay, Cheryl, are you ready? Let's go. Woo! Um, I feel a bit of pain in my cheeks because I got slapped by the water. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty good. Okay, Afik, it's just you now. Okay, let's go. Jump, jump! When I look down, right, the fear suddenly like exploded inside me. Come on, you can do it. Uh, Malcolm, can you pass in the walkie talkie? Yeah. yeah. Breathe. Okay, don't worry. Uh, Malcolm is there to guide you. Just like in business, mentors are very important. You are in the right hands now. Look at the signboard and just go. Afik, would it help if I come up? If I jump with him, because he's committed to a team member, he'll probably go ahead with the task. Three, two, one, go! I looked up and I see his feet on the ledge. When you're frozen with fear, nothing moves. There's no growth, everything stops. Basically, a lot of people even give up because of the fear. Panic, huh? Panic. It's okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem, no problem. No problem. Okay. 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 Um, or or no maybe, maybe would you like to consider the 5 meter first? Yes. Yeah. yeah? His level of fear is so high that if he can overcome the 5 meter jump, it will be good enough. The first time I started my business, I was only 22. I was very fearful as well. I churned all that attention right into something that I think of what I can possibly achieve. Once you overcome this fear, you will definitely, definitely feel very, very good. Okay? Okay. One, two, three, go. Go. Okay, good. I'm very happy that I did the jump and 
Did I live to tell the tale? Lah? I think the big take home from this, don't let fear stop you from making good business decisions. So now, I have another challenge for you. We're going to work on your ability to solve problems. Your challenge is to get all of these objects back into the crate. The only rules are, you can't step into the circle or move the perimeter of the rope. Do we have props? You can use anything in this room. So I look around the room to scan for resources, but I knew that my best resources were right beside me. I knew we had to work as a team. It's going to be very interesting to see how they work together. And then you tie it around. Sandwich the balls inside. Are you sure? Oh. Yeah. I think this is bigger than the Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. This is... Oh, take out the pillowcase. You can... Yeah, this can use to, to wrap. And that's so inventive because if the pillowcase it works, he's going to solve all these problems and put all the toys into the crate as one parcel. You know what? There's a table here that can be rolled. Roll it into the circle and put everything on the table. Can you hold me? Can't I hold you? I hold no, your no, legs. no, no. I want him to hold me. Why? He's stronger. Okay. Excuse me, you think so? <laughs> oh, you are... I'm a dancer, trust me. <laughs> move. So you want both, both anchors? Me okay. So, okay. You can... Ready? But who's looking? Straight. Push harder. Stronger. Straight. Further. Go. Oops, stop, stop. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Hold you me. have to see, you have to see. Crap. <laughs> I am stressed out, but I knew I had to focus. Guys, 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 can, can I uh, suggest something? Yeah. Yes. We group all these together in one. Okay, tie, tie one dead knot here, and then the other one, the tie one dead knot also here. Oh yeah, then we just lift it over, right? And then one will be on each end, and then we can control the, okay. the aim. It's all about calculated risk. We drop the pillowcase on the floor, we could always pick it up and reposition it again. So I see that you're learning from your failures, learning from the mistakes you made just now. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, like that. Just move it. Okay, ready? Drop! Dropping, dropping. Okay, let go. Okay, now chill. Done. Goodbye. Congratulations, well Boom. done. Woo. That's the essence of good teamwork because everyone is willing to listen to each other's opinions and perspectives to work together as a team. I'm so impressed by your ability to collaborate as a team. I would like to offer you guys an opportunity to continue to collaborate with me after this mentorship. Nice. Cool. I'm surprised that Enoch is uh, as offered to keep mentoring us and I think that helps in our confidence in like believing in our own ideas. And now, I have one more challenge for you guys. Let's make some money. The success of your business will ultimately rest on not just selling your product, but selling yourself to collaborators and selling your ideas when you pitch to investors. So today, we're going to be working on our selling skills with this. A bamboo straw. Each of you will have 30 minutes to make as much money as you can. The minimum price to sell each packet is $5. There is no maximum price. My advice to you guys is to start with a smile, be strong and specific in your wording. Hi guys! I see that you have straws right here. So my strategy is increase the price a little bit. Biodegradable straws are not really necessities, they're more like a luxury good. Do you know that the straws that you're using are only for single use? Whereas the straws that you get from here, you can use it for life. So you can get either the sing single, like $5 for each, or if you get all three, it's just $10. Or you can get the whole bag if you want. <laughs> Yay! Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I think I had a pretty good peach. Sorry. Alright, Jay. You're spending a lot of time walking around, yeah. you know, looking for customers. Yeah. You're not engaging anybody. So now I think uh, to get the sales acquisition, yeah. you need to start to engage people first. Okay, yeah. I'll think of a target yeah. and I'll just go for it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hi, hello. I'm looking around for people that I can relate to uh, most comfortably first. You can just try product, guna kat rumah, kalau tengok TV, no, no. So today I sell you $5 straight away. Thank you. Okay, um, uh, Papa? Thank you. Okay. From the moment I got my first sale, I believe more in myself that I can actually sell more. So I started to like get into my groove and I started to um, be a bit more bold in my approach. On the sample, you can try and sample now if you want to. Why not? Hello, you seem to be the most modern like stall here and very forward thinking. I'm, I'm here to share about these straws. I just came back from Bali and then over there, this is all the hype. Really good for the environment. Uh, you try, I'll try, try first. Sorry. At the start, it'll be like that. But after a few washes, it'll be fine. Give it a shot. Ah. Yes, wholesale price. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm super happy right now because I made the sale. 
Robin. My strategy for now is B2B, and I'm going to approach the vendors. Thank you so much. I feel pretty happy that I managed to sell so many straws, so it's a lot more than I actually thought I would be able to, so yay me. <laughs> I managed to step up my own comfort zone. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring this knowledge I've learned here to my own uh, business. It's the moment of truth. Let's find out how much each of you have made. Afik first. $25. Okay, Cheryl? I got $40. $40, okay. And lastly, Jay? $70. $70? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, well done, guys. So, I think today we can learn something from what Jay did. He got the critical mass, he got volume. He went for volume instead, and he got a big sale. Before coming to the mentorship, I was in my comfort zone. But once I went through the challenges, I took big risks to face my fear, literally. Did something I would never have thought of doing. Over these three challenges, we learn to face our fear and to conquer them as well. Secondly, teamwork. With a team, you are able to achieve more. Goodbye. Congratulations. And lastly, how to leave the comfort zone to pitch and to sell to others. So I would really, really hope for you all okay, to continue to feed your ambition and fight temptation of things such as drugs. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. Thank you.